gonna tell me where you went All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot. It's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know this is a general reading. It will not resonate with each and every star, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings can be reversed or interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget if this reading does resonate, don't forget to support your girl by clicking like, share, subscribe, and clicking the all option when you click the bell so you can be notified when I upload another reading or when I go live. This reading will not have an extended. How are you guys doing, my Aquarius? It's been, I think, two days. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing amazing. This is going to be a 12-12 portal reading. As you guys know, today starts our 12-12 energetic portal. So this is the soul Altus Gateway, which stays open for 12 days from December 12th to December 21st. I like to call it an ascension portal. So it's pretty much a portal that brings you in alignment with your soul. It also is a, a portal for major shifts and major changes in your life. So it's the best time to manifest. It's the best time to ground yourself. It's the best time to tap into your psychic abilities, telepathy, things like that. So this portal is very, very beautiful because what happens is it is actually the sun reaching its maximum or minimum declamation okay so we're gonna dive right in and see what energies is surrounding us during this beautiful portal okay I hope you guys are manifesting and tapping into your inner selves and your inner oneness so let's get it let's see what's going on and if you want to book a reading with me guys go ahead and um check out my website www.goddessofwhispers.com so let's see what energies is surrounding you the collective let's see what's the energy here for Aquarius during the 1212 portal what energies is surrounding us during the 1212 portal all right thank you so the first card we have is spring okay so this is beautiful this energy speaks of things blooming okay in the spring this energy also speaks of new beginnings as well so i do feel like this portal is bringing on a lot of new beginnings and look what came out next tarot guidance so i feel like for a lot of us we may be looking to uh spiritual guidance through tarot divination during this portal time but it's telling us here that there is something that is closing but also to bringing about new beginnings here so as you guys know as we move in from winter we move into spring so winter is all about things dying off and it's spring is about things blooming again so there's an energy of new beginnings that is taking place around us bottom of the deck we have clearance so the energy that is surrounding us during this portal as you can see there's a broom here the clearance energy speaks of clearing out negative energies or things that may not be beneficial to you for your highest purpose and your highest good so it's almost like clearing out the old in order Order to make room for the new and that's the kind of energy that I'm actually feeling during this portal cycle you know it's about me clearing out old negative energies in order to open new doors and I feel like a lot of us are diving into like I said tarot divination to see what is in store for us in this new beginning or this new chapter that we want to elevate to so let's get some more energies what else is showing up here for Aquarius thank you and then we have fertility. Yeah, so this is about nurturing new beginnings here, okay, for a lot of us. Okay, for some of us, this new beginning new beginning may look like a new relationship. This new beginning may look like, and it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be new relationship with friends, new relationship with family, new relationships with co-workers, new relationships in career and business. You know, whatever that may look like for you, uh, this energy is about closing out some type of cycle in order to start anew is the energy. So let's see what else is coming through for us okay let's see what is the energy here for Aquarius 
What is the energy here for Aquarius? You may be even doing your own tarot readings at home with the tarot cards just to see what is in your energy and, you know, to see what shifts will take place for you is the energy that I'm seeing here, okay? But this is beautiful. I like starting off with the spring card because it's telling you here, you know, you may be watching things or observing things from a distance, but it's definitely a new beginning that is taking place, all right, in, in happiness. So that's beautiful. So let's see. What's the energy here surrounding us? Let's see. What's the energy here? What's the message? What's the message? Okay, we got a lot of cards coming through here. All right, so we have the top card is Magician Sword, which is confidence in your magic, okay? So this energy is beautiful because it speaks of that nothing can stop you. As the magician, you have all of the knowledge, all of the experience that you may need to move forward, okay? So a lot has transpired here in your life, and this is your spirit angels telling you you are now ready. You are now ready to have this new victorious new beginning is what it's telling you, but you have to move forward in confidence in the things that you know in order to progress forward. We have at the bottom of the deck, it's Herald a horseman herald of change this speaks of being the difference in situations it speaks of being positive in negative situations as well you know or also too this speaks of being the bigger person so i feel like a lot of us here are moving forward into a new beginning this energy speaks of leaving negative energies behind but also to being the change that you want to see so let's see what else is coming through this speaks of taking some type of action as well okay Let's see, what else is, yeah, look at this. We have repairing the veil. This energy is very, very beautiful because this energy speaks of making amends, okay? So if there's things in your life that you feel that is holding you back, you are finding peace with the situation in order to move forward. You are realizing that you are the narrator of your own story, okay? No longer allowing anyone to dictate how your story goes from here we also had some other energies that show up showed up as well we have crowned games it says right use of power and then we have many masks the authentic self so these energies are very very beautiful so with the crown games right use of power and many masks the authentic self so the energy overall what i'm getting here aquarius is i feel like a lot of us are stepping into our power with this portal i this energy speaks of being a leader taking accountability for your actions and responsibility for situations also with the many masks the authentic self energy this energy speaks of you know no longer carrying around this facade you know being true to who you truly are you know um revealing you know some truths here as well and accepting yourself for truly who you are no longer sweeping under the rug to be accepted by others so this is a very beautiful energy i feel like you are you know repairing you know past wounds that you may have had or accepting things for what it is in order to move forward being more confident in your strength here and stepping into your power here with this crown games i'm actually loving this and acknowledging that your power comes with a price okay so i do feel like for a lot of us with this portal it's definitely opening new doors here for us and i feel like this is a very strong new beginning for a lot of people as you guys know we are in the age of aquarius so we're having a lot of people away awakening in this 3d realm okay and ascending to new heights and i feel like this portal is only going to allow us to ascend even further okay so let's dive a little bit further and let's see what else comes through for uh the collective let's see what energies is surrounding us what's the message here yeah if you were wearing a lot of masks or a lot of false masks, okay, to please others, you're no longer doing so, okay? You're stepping into your power and you're stepping into your divination is the energy. So let's see, let's see. You're taking what's rightfully yours at the end of the day. Let's see. Yeah, look at this creation. This energy is about being a co-creator of your life, okay? This energy is about trusting your own uh, divinity, trusting your own, you know, ability to create your own happiness here is the energy. This energy also speaks of creating your own destiny. So I do feel like for a lot of us here, we are realizing we are the blueprints of our lives. We are the map 
the roadmap to how our lives take place. Bottom of the deck is the power card. So a lot of us are stepping into our power, okay? Stepping into our sovereignty and no longer hiding who you truly are in life. You are actually believing in you is the energy that's coming through here for a lot of us. So I love this because this energy speaks of full moon and this is the energy that we are shifting in uh, on this 1212 portal. So a lot of us here are stepping into our divinity or our destiny here, I should say, with this um, full moon in the 1212 portal. So let's see. Let's get one more. This is actually really, really powerful. Let's see what else comes through for us. All right. Yeah. Look at this fruition. This energy is about manifesting. Okay. Manifesting the things that you desire, that you feel that you deserve in your life with this fruition card. So I see a lot of beautiful things happening here for you, Aquarius. This energy is about you creating your destiny and your fate, and you're stepping into your power to do so. And you're actually a manifesting these beautiful things that's going to take place for you moving into the 2022 year. Okay. And a lot of it has to do with this 1212 portal. Okay. We also have at the bottom of the deck focus. Look at that. I love this. This is beautiful. And you can see the full moon there. The butterfly It speaks of transformation, undergoing some major shifts. You're focusing now on what truly matters in your life. You're focusing on the things that is going to help you catapult into this new beginning is the energy. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Again, we have blossoming. It says, do not give up. Okay. Do not worry about others or what other people have to say to you. This energy is about growth. Okay. Not worry about what others think of you being true to yourself whatever that may be whatever it is that you felt you need to shove under the rug to please others you're no longer doing that it's all about pleasing you at the end of the day doing the things that make you most happy is the energy that's coming through here for you Aquarius so let's go ahead and move into the tarot and see what energies is coming through for you guys what is the energy here for Aquarius what is the energy here for Aquarius? What's the message you have for Aquarius? Let's see. What's the message you have for Aquarius? Let's see. What's the energy you have for Aquarius? What's the energy you have for Aquarius? Let's see. All right, we got a lot of cards wanting to come out. Let's see, what's the energy you have for the Aquarius? But I did see the Seven of Swords in reverse, and that energy is interesting because that speaks of, you know, um, making things right, okay? If things were on your mind a lot or there's uh, things that was left unsaid in situations or you feel like you need to, you know, amend some things in your life or repair some things in your life. Okay. That could be keeping you stagnant. The seven of swords speaks of trying to make things right again with situations. So this is actually very, very beautiful in order to clear the path for you to have this beautiful new beginning. Okay. So let's see. All right. So we have the four of pentacles in the reverse. We have the ace of wands. We have the nine of cups in the reverse. We have the three of cups in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The Two of Swords. Let's see. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Yes, yeah, see, look at that. Two of Wands and the Page of Cups in the reverse. The overall energy is the Nine of Wands. So this overall energy, Aquarius, I, I feel like a lot of us here, you know, maybe in an energy of feeling just tired. You know, tired in the way that things has been going in your life here, okay, is the energy. I feel like with this Nine of Swords, this energy speaks of like being wounded, you know, being exhausted, being stressed out, taking on a lot of responsibility responsibilities, needing help to move forward in situations, maybe even feeling a little bit stressed out. All right. But this energy also speaks of maintaining beautiful boundaries or putting things in place to set up beautiful boundaries in your life here. But this also speaks of persistence and continuing to move on. So I do feel like for a lot of us here, we're going the extra mile to overcome some obstacles in our life moving into the new year. So we have the four pentacles in the reverse, the ace of wands and the nine of 
of cups in the reverse so there's a lot of uh, disappointing energy I feel like that we are trying to move out of with this nine of cups in the reverse okay this energy speaks of not being happy or feeling lazy feeling you know tired feeling like there's a lot of weight on your shoulders here with this nine of cups but also to feeling dissatisfied with the way that your life is going here is the energy the four pentacles showing up here in the reverse this energy speaks of having a mindset of just you know just feeling tired and overwhelmed for some of us here this may be you know an energy of like feeling like you know, so much is happening all at once. This energy also is an energy of like a poverty mindset, you know, so being stuck in a mindset that is not doing anything for you here with this four pentacles. But the beautiful thing with this ace of wands in the middle, this speaks of new beginnings, having that capability to create or that urge to feel inspired. And guess what's inspiring you? is everything that you've been through so everything that you've been through is now putting you in a place or positioning you in a place through this portal to actually be in an energy of feeling inspired wanting to create wanting to you know maneuver your life from one energy to the next that is going to be more beneficial for you and this is what this ace of wands represents it represents new beginnings new romance new job new projects you know feeling inspired um, wanting to create your new reality realizing your destiny falls within your hands and you're grabbing it okay and moving forward into your sun as you can see the clouds is here it's come it's like you know leaving adversity behind or leaving hardships behind leaving stress behind in order to seek your new beginning aquarius all right and then you're moving into this three of cups in the reverse nine of pentacles in the reverse with the two of swords so this energy is about a lot of downtime okay like not making very important decisions here with this two of swords so it's telling me here you know you may have you know taken a break from something here is with the energy like needing time to really think through what your next move is going to be all right this nine of pentacles in the reverse is an energy that can speak of like <clears throat> you know having some type of setbacks here okay or maybe even feeling like you're overworking yourself okay feeling like something is not right like maybe even feeling like you're not getting the support that you need here okay and this is putting you in a position where you feel like you need to just take a moment take a step back observe before you make a decision to move forward and that's the energy that i'm getting in this reading okay before you decide to you know make hasty decisions here you're actually taking a moment to actually reflect on what your next move should be then we're moving into the seven of swords in the reverse the two of wands and the page of cups in the reverse so i do feel like you're leaving behaviors behind that you know may be an energy of like codependency or anything that may be you know making you feel stuck this energy also speaks of like breakups here or um situations that ended on bad terms and with the seven of swords in the reverse i feel like this is about you moving forward in your future or at least making plans in your future here as it says to repair the veil here all right the seven of swords like i told you guys i saw it while i was shuffling and look what came out this speaks of trying to make things right so i feel like you're trying to make things right in certain situations in order to move forward here two of wands speaks of making decisions or making plans for your future making choices that's going to be beneficial to you and it all starts with trying to repair some relationships that you may have had here maybe in the situation you know you might have found this situation to be <clears throat> holding you back but not wanting to be you know immature about the situation you know you want to rise above the the uh, negativity or the immature energy this is about trying to make things right for the benefit of yourself here is what i'm seeing here for you aquarius so this is actually looking really really good during this time so let's go ahead and get some more messages from your spirit angels what is the energy here for aquarius what is the energy here for aquarius what message do you have for Aquarius? What's the message you have for Aquarius? Let's see. Thank you. 
All right, so we have ask and receive. So this portal is like very beautiful, guys, because this is the time to ask for the things that you desire, but you go in with good intentions, okay? So you manifest the things that you feel you deserve. The universe is going to gift you these things if you have true and pure intentions. So your spirit angels want you to ask. Now is the time to ask for the things that you desire that you feel is going to be most beneficial to you in order to move into the new year. We have at the bottom of the deck opportunity and change this is actually really really nice <clears throat> And this is what this reading has been about this whole time. Opportunity and change is about leaving old things behind in order to move forward. So there, now is a time for new changes to take place. This is a time for new doors to open for you and leaving things behind. But all you have to do is ask. We have, again, angel protection here at the bottom of the deck. And I feel like a lot of us are being surrounded by our angels to protect us and guide us through this transition and through this time here with this 1212 portal. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what angels is surrounding us during this time what's the energy surrounding us during this portal what is the energy surrounding us during this portal what is the energy surrounding us during this portal i'm being told to tell you to trust the process trust in yourself okay because you are protected let's see let's see what's the energy surrounding us during this portal Thank you. All right. So we have Horus, God Horus, that's surrounding us during this portal. This energy is beautiful because it speaks of clear seeing, intention, perspective. Okay. Go figure, right? So this is a beautiful, beautiful energy because this energy is telling you to do things with good intentions. Like I was telling you, looking at things from a different perspective, you know, clearing that perception or that perspective that is not beneficial to your highest purpose and highest good. So this is actually seeing with a clear mind, actually seeing through your third eye here is what the energy is and seeing things for what it truly is. And that's what the age of Aquarius is all about. Okay. Okay, no longer living in the age of Pisces. This is about shifting into an energy where you are in the know and making more informative decisions. So I do feel like a lot of us here are changing our perspective during this time is the energy. We also have at the bottom of the deck, Commander Ashtar. This energy is very beautiful because it speaks of being a star seed. This speaks of space travel, galactic um, guide. So I feel like this energy is surrounding us during this portal. And it's so funny. This is the energies that's showing up in our region. Reading. So I feel like for a lot of us here, we are shifting into a new realm. We are shifting into a new energy here and actually tapping into our light, our star seed light. I feel like for a lot of us here, there's a lot of transitions that's taking place and we're allowing our spirit guides and spirit angels to guide us along the way. So I feel like for you guys, as you guys may know, you know, everyone has a spirit guide that is with you in your lifetime. So all you have to do is ask your spirit angels and spirit guides to guide you in the direction that you need to be. You may be receiving signs and sacred that is here to help you along your journey. So don't be afraid to ask for help. All right. So let's go ahead and close out with your overall advice. What is the advice here for Aquarius? What is the advice here for Aquarius? What is the advice you have for Aquarius? Let's see. Thank you. All right, so we have push through any insecurities, first quarter moon in Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, we have trust the universe, first quarter moon in Aquarius. What a beautiful way to leave or end this reading, guys. So your spirit angels is telling you to trust in the divine, trust in the universe, trust and believe that everything will come to pass the way that it's supposed to. And also to don't be afraid to be the co-creator of your destiny and your reality here. It's telling you to live in your strength and to push through any insecurities that may be holding you back in your life all right my aquarius i hope you guys enjoyed this reading till next time bye i guess you're back are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages i sent with no reply